hello guys i welcome you all to my youtube channel and in today's video lecture we're going to look about collocation so collocation is a way of extracting common phrases out of the document means two or more words that that tend to be appear frequently together we are intent to extract those words togetherly right so let's take some examples considering the keywords like good film las vegas right or new york so as we can see considering these two words occurring together makes uh, a good sense right las vegas if we see these las and vegas are not a very common words in the diction in the english paragraph but if they are occurring uh, together it means this these two words really make sense right good film you can see so these are the common phrases which can be considered as a unique keyword right but the, there is a bit of limitations here a consequences you need to look after right so those are if uh, we consider this first uh, bigram here is a good and film so these two keywords are very common in english paragraph you can find these keywords uh, a huge amount of time and occurrence of these two words together is also very common right so if both the keywords are very commonly occurring in a document then there could be a chances right the, that the these two keywords occur by chance right but in the second bigram uh, example if you see las vegas these are very rare keywords occurring of last separately and occurring of vegas separately it's very rare but if they occur in a document it means definitely it's a unique keyword right and here if you see a new york so uh, occurrence of new is very rare uh, very common in english document but occurrence of york is very rare in the english document right so we need to uh, give them a score based on their occurrence uh, for according to me las vegas would be given a good amount of uh, highest score after that new york and then in the last will be giving a score to the good film right so for this we'll be using pmi score pmi stand for point wise mutual information which means that uh, we want to qualify the likelihood of co occurrence of two words means the probability of occurring of these two words divided by probability of occurring these two words separately and we are taking the whole log also this log is because suppose uh, here's a keyword new york right uh, or take a key uh, bigram to be good film so a uh, uh, good if you see uh, that uh, the probability of a and b are independent and the probability of occurrence of good and film is very much higher then it will tends to one and log of 1 we know equals to 0 so we are also considering the facts like if is if it is uh, the keyword like bigram keyword to be so it right so so it is very uh, common in the what i can say uh, english document so the pmi score will be very less for this so it and it would be very larger for las vegas right so it means the prob low probability of occurrence uh, of occurrence of a single word with a high probability can be considered as a good uh, uh, good uh, phrase of us in that particular document right so let's dive into the practical way of extracting the bigrams and trigrams that are most common in the document so we'll be taking this particular document that i scraped that is top 50 animated series i scraped the data of those top 50 animated series and out of these english sentences we need to extract some most of the common uh, phrases out of it right so what i will be doing so this is the pmi score right and in the importing libraries i will be getting pandas and this is just to ignore any warning this is for statistics right uh, i be taking stop words so as to remove the stop words out of the document and here the word tokenizer this is for regular expression if needed this is word lem lemmatization right but i don't need lemmatization because i don't want to so i can just comment this out and i'm getting the stop word set out of this stop word like uh, function library from the nltk right so here is my cleaning function i'm just uh, uh, converting uh, everything from utf8 encoding and uh, just uh, replacing every punctuation and all with the spaces and uh, also 
these kind of some uh, text pre-processing cleaning part you can look up look uh, more into this right i'm also making the sentences in the lower form right i'm uh, converting them into the lower and here i'm reading my data frame so let's i'm removing any null pointer to be filling it with uh, just uh, space and here's my head and this is the site and this is the data so i'll be taking the data and putting into the apply function by cleaning it right so after you can see a uh, line of data would be 50 and if i see data of zero so it's it looks something like this like this everything is in small letter and there is a space between like uh, if a comma occurred between two words then the comma would would also be considered as a keyword because we don't want something that is interrupted by the comma and we are considering considering these two keywords as at the same time and here i'm splitting these keywords and putting into the key so if i show you key of 20 then you can see it's a kind of sentence that is broken down in the uh, split method like in the distant future small west collecting robot so it's kind of sentence only but it's, uh, by keyword by keyword tokens kind of thing here i'm uh, using the collocation library that would be an nltk.collocations and from there i'll be importing a bigram a finder and trigram finder right and uh, here i'll be from this particular key i'll be removing the stop words and also if the character with the length of less than three i'll be removing that also so i'm filtering out my key uh, list right so in this particular cell i'm defining the bigram uh, collocation and in this particular shell i am defining trigram collocation so bigram collocation i'm just first initializing my bigram collocation right by passing the keys here and i'm uh, applying the filters that is filter stops that is removing any stop words and the word uh, whose length is, is less than three and here i'm applying the frequency filter means any occurrence of word which is less than two should be removed and only the occurrence of word whose uh, only the words whose occurrence is less more than two means three or more will only be in taken in consideration and i'm just i will just take top 5000 bigrams right so let's this is the list one for bigram collocation and the same thing goes for trigram collocation i'll be taking top 3000 for this and uh, from here i got the list one that contains all the top bigrams and here i got the list two which contains the top type trigrams right so if you are curious how the score would look, look like let's check the score for uh, the bigram collocations that would be looking something like this in that these keywords are matched like uh, as you can see here for sure this balloon salesman barbie counterparts uh, battle ready vehicles these are common phrases right so they have a good pmi score right so it is arranged in the decreasing uh, decreasing order and you can see these are and adventurous and admired and above these are not that much uh, unique phrases so the pmi score is very less for these keywords right so we just uh, add list one and list two and replace anything like if there is some apostrophe or uh, a new line character so we're going to replace it by null or space right and just check the length and if you see the list of keywords here now if i show you see mike myers is the name of someone cameron diaz prince charming shrek mike radiator springs so we we are getting a really good um, uh, good bigrams and trigrams here and uh, this is also like uh, without knowing the context of the uh, paragraph we are extracting the relevant top bigrams and trigrams from that paragraph this is really amazing or powerful statistical model and prob probabilistic model i would say bigram is
uh, this uh, collocation is right so you can see all these keywords uh, all these bigrams are making sense right like eddie murphy uh, donkey eddie are really a, a names of character in that particular document so it depends like if the document is some somewhat related to history the keywords would be something like that it is related to animation right so we got the keywords like dragon warrior fairy tale this is really giving re impressive results i wasn't expecting this much but it gave me really impressive results like christmas eve so i hope i really helped you in understanding the collocation if you want to learn more about collocation you can just refer to the documentation but this is the most i have covered which would be useful in starting or making uh, making some uh, statistical model regarding uh, collocation right so you can use it in your anything like uh, this is this can be used commonly like extracting the keywords uh, for uh, uh, for making a model and out of the those keywords you can uh, get the relevant keywords by using some word to vec and like that by matching the top keywords with the top keywords you have identified like that you can do so many things it totally depends on you right so thank you so much for being here thank you so much